Understanding the Windows Azure App Fabric service, typically what you'll find in a lot of cloud-based implementations is there can be any number of applications and services that are running in the cloud, and the challenge is coordinating the access to those apps and services amongst not only your own internal organization, but any partner organization that you might also deal with. So there's a couple of primary components that are involved. One's known as the service bus, and this one basically acts as a proxy service to control who communicates with what. And the access control service is how we can secure the applications and the services where firewall and directory service or identity services are concerned. So we'll have a quick look at both. Commonly, you'll find that App Fabric is something that's implemented in a B2B, a business-to-business scenario, but you can use it to just manage your own internal environment as well. So basically what you have is services, applications, databases that are all set up and configured. They're up and running in the cloud. And of course, our own organization needs to be able to access those. So even just setting that up, which services, which applications, which databases are accessible by whom can present some challenges because there's firewall, security concerns. All of that needs to be managed. If you have a partner organization that also requires access to those, then it's even more complex because we need to do the same thing. We need to control which services, which applications, which databases they might be able to access as well. And in some cases, you might not want them to access a particular component. And again, both within your own organization and for the partner. So it can be time-consuming and difficult and challenging to manage all of those methods of connectivity and all those configurations. So with the service bus, what you have are still the same services and applications and databases that are available. We still have your organization requiring access to those. We still have the partner organization that may or may not require access to everything. But service bus sits in between, runs as a single service to which either organization can connect, and then it is responsible for managing the connections to the cloud-based services. So we only have a single connection point now, and it manages all of the requirements to gain access to whichever services, whichever applications or databases that we might need. And The same goes as before. If there is a component that should not be accessed, then that can be configured simply and easily within that single service bus configuration. So the components, when you're setting this up, there's what's called relays, which allow you to configure which services are exposed uh, to the external applications through your firewall configurations. Queues manage the communications between any given applications and services, so which ones are able to contact which are other applications. Uh, for example, is a shipping application able to communicate with an accounting application, something like that. Uh, it also stores the messages between those applications until they're received by the intended application. So if there's any downtime, for example, of one given app, then it's, it makes sure that the message is still received. Uh, there's topics which allow simply filter rules, which applications are able to receive which messages, and notifications which allow multiple services to be notified based on a single event, such as a sales order might generate both uh, an invoice and a shipping request, something along those lines. The access control service is how we can secure all of this. It provides users... Uh, outside of your firewall and or directory service to be able to still gain access as if they were your own internal users. So you still get that fine-grained control as if they were part of your own directory service, and it removes the requirement for a federated identity service, which you may have implemented in a previous solution. So overall, App Fabric allows much greater simplification to to be able to access any kind of cloud-based services from both inside and outside your organization.